What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Crystal Palace. Tonight we are here in Disney Springs and we are going to be headed to Wine Bar George for dinner. But first we are going to have some fun here in Disney Springs before our reservation. So come along with us for a fun night in the Springs. Time to wait in the Gideon's line. Here's our dinner tonight, Wine Bar George. Very excited to eat here. Well, we have about an hour and a half until that chime comes around. What's that coming out? What's that smoke coming out of the vent? Is that a smellitizer? Probably. I think it is. Because it smells really good. Alright, we're in. These candles probably smell so good. We were only waiting outside eight minutes. Here are those famous Gideon's cookies. Oh, that one looks good. Chocolate chip, banana bread. They are so thick. <laughs> so good though. All right, I got my $6 cookie. I got cookies and cream. So we tried to get a walk-up reservation at the boathouse, but I was reminded that this isn't universal and walk-up reservations are not really a thing. <laughs> the latest reservation, the first reservation they had was 10.30 p.m. We're going to try out salt and straw. I've never tried this ice cream before and I've been wanting to, so let's do it. All right, I think I'm gonna go with a donut, but I wanna try out some of these flavors because they're pretty wild. Look at these flavors. They have olive oil ice cream. Like, that's wild. Can I try the strawberry one? Strawberry honey balsamic with black pepper. You put the spoons in here when you're done. Okay, I didn't want to be mean, but I did not like that at all. <laughs> it's like too much balsamic tasting for me. You like yours though. Okay, so this, what did you got? This is pineapple coconut sherbet. Okay. And roasted pineapple coconut sherbet. Yeah, so it's kind of interesting because you first get hit with like roasted pineapple and then the coconut comes in. So it's like, a, like you plate. You cycle through the flavors. That's a good combo. Yeah. Mine was like, mm, I need a donut to get the taste out of my mouth. I'm gonna make this place your home. La la la. All right, just did a donut review here at Everglades. All right, everyone, donut review time. We are here at Everglades in Disney Springs. Surprisingly, I have not done a donut review from here. So you know we have to. Here it is. Just a glazed classic donut. It's humongous. It was $4.95. So this is one of our more expensive donuts that we've tried here on the Crystal Palace. Let's see if it's worth it. Right off the bat, my fingers are sticky. She's, a, she's got some weight. She's a big one. Windy, we're blowing all over the place here. Okay, so this is a dense donut. If you watch any of my donut reviews, you know I like the more fluffy, airy, Krispy Kreme type of donuts. However, I do want to mention the donut burger from Everglades is one of the best things you will ever try. I know it sounds disgusting, a burger, a cheeseburger on a donut, but trust me, you will not regret it. I'm gonna give you a 7-6. Everglades Donuts, Disney Springs, that's a review. Of course, you know that I have to stop here at Everglades, it's my favorite, but this is the first time that I'm in Disney Springs not getting a donut burger. Wine Bar George, you best be good because my donut burger is my life. So I feel like salt and straw is really good. It's just maybe a little too exotic for me. Like at Cold Stone and Carvel, I just get chocolate ice cream. <laughs> but like Alessa really liked hers. I feel like I would have liked her flavor more. Maybe we'll go back and I'll try like a different one later after dinner, we'll see. But I'm happy with my donut. All right, Everglazed, you were amazing. I'm always amazed by how this guy is still standing after all these years. Incredible. Hard to go to Disney Springs and not stop in the world of Disney. Good tip, they have mobile checkout here at World of Disney to avoid, to avoid that line over there. You just do it all on your phone, check out right here and leave. So what you do is if you want something, see like Alessa's about to do it right now. If you want something from the Disney app, you just scan the tag in the store and then you show the receipt right here at the counter when you want to check out and you pay on your phone and you go. Everybody guess right now how much this pen is, right? Pen, you know, basic. 
ten dollars it's dinner time here is an overview of the menu they're known for their small plates i see some things i got my eye on all right we're being seated this is my first time here oh this lighting okay stairs all right here's the bar upstairs here Here's our table over the stairs here, but it's kind of nice. It's in the corner. Here is the wine menu. Look how many options there are. <laughs> you don't even know where to start or what to pick. So they actually have over 160 wines. So you have a lot to choose from. And the menu is actually interactive. So they show some pictures, which is amazing. I love pictures on menus. Wine bar George, I feel so bougie pretending like I know how to wine taste. Cheers. I'm excited for our food, I'm hungry. We decided to do a bunch of the small plates to get a really good taste of everything. Here is the cheese board for $28. It comes with four cheeses, some jam, almonds. They got cheese from Italy and Spain and some cheddar. Here are the mac and cheese bites, the cheese board, we also got burrata, looks delicious. And the bread comes with the cheese board too, which is really nice. And I got the Paul Bruzzi white wine. The mac and cheese bites are excellent. The mac and cheese is on the kids meal. So if you get a kids meal mac and cheese, it's the same mac and cheese. But these fried cheese bites, oh, they are so good because the pal's approved. Italian cheese. Wine. I really like that Italian cheese. Let's try this nut. Solid. All right, here are those meatballs. They look a little bigger in the picture on the menu on the website, but it's kind of hard to please New York Italians with their meatballs elsewhere. Also comes with polenta under the meatballs. I'm basically a meatball connoisseur. <laughs> I love meatballs. My Italian grandma used to make them all the time. So let's try this one out, Mr. Wine Bar George. Cheers. The meatballs were all right. Not my favorite. Probably wouldn't order these again. I would like to have tried something else, maybe like the pork belly instead for my next visit. Now I'm trying some of this jam from the cheese board. I like how they give you little slices of bread. So me and Alessa kind of switched. She really liked the burrata and I really liked the cheese bites. So even though we got them to share, she had the burrata, I had the cheese bites because I liked them so much. The burrata was good too, but just preferred the cheese bites more. All right, goodbye wine bar George. All right, what a fun night at Disney Springs. I loved Wine Bar George. That was such a nice restaurant, a nice vibe. I loved having the small plates, especially like if you have maybe a big lunch and you just want some small plates for dinner. My favorite were the cheese bites. The meatballs were all right. I wasn't really too happy with the meatballs. I loved the cheese plate though. That was great, a little charcuterie board. Overall, a great experience. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. I'm going to eat my Gideon's cookie because I've been dreaming about it. It's been in my backpack. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Crystal Palace after dark. Wow. Wow, look at that. Crystal Palace after dark. Look at my Gideon's cookie.